Good afternoon. A man has been found stabbed to death outside a house in Southampton. Police have begun a murder inquiry. They say the body may have lain there unnoticed for several hours. The man was found slumped in a pool of blood outside a house in Howard Road at Shirley. Police discovered the body after receiving an anonymous tip-off. A post-mortem is being carried out this afternoon. Detectives believe they know the man's identity but are not releasing details until relatives have been told. A pensioner has died in a fire in Sussex. It was one of three major fires in the county during the night. The body of the elderly woman was recovered from her flat at Worthing. At Littlehampton, a united reformed church was badly damaged in a blaze and firemen tackled flames which destroyed a barn near Seaford. The pensioner who died at Worthing is said to have been in her mid-80s. Firemen with breathing apparatus broke the front door of her flat in New Parade but were too late to save her. The woman's dog was revived and taken to an animal shelter. In Littlehampton, a man was rescued after a blaze broke out at the United Reformed Church in Arundel Road. He was taken to hospital after being overcome by smoke. The church and an upper hall were badly damaged in the fire. Meanwhile, 20 firemen spent all night trying to control a blaze at a barn near Seaford. 500 tonnes of baled hay and a tractor were destroyed. The flames were fanned by last night's strong winds. An MP has called for life belts to be placed at the Berkshire Canal Lock, where three children died. Tony Durrant, who represents Reading West, plans to write to the British Waterways Board following the tragedy. Eight-year-old Carla Vasquez, her six-year-old sister Claire and their baby brother Craig fell in the Kennet and Avon Canal. An inquest into the children's deaths will open on Monday. A post-mortem examination has shown that all three children died from drowning. Police are still trying to piece together how the tragedy happened. More independent tests are to be carried out on the controversial waste recycling plant on the Isle of Wight. Medina Borough Council officials say they'll commission the tests in the new year. The decision follows claims that the £4 million plant is making workers at a nearby factory ill. A dream has come true for Linda Francis, who's a clerk at Worthing Council. Linda's always imagined herself riding an elephant. After hearing about Linda, Royal Circus duly obliged to make her dream come true. A baby elephant called Dum Dum was brought along to Worthing Pavilion so that she could sit in the hot seat. It was an experience that Linda, like the elephant, will never forget. And now look at the weather forecast and it'll be cloudy this afternoon with occasional showers. Top temperature 8 Celsius in a fresh southwesterly wind. It'll be mostly dry tonight with lowest temperature 1 Celsius and a ground frost in places. That's all the TVS News for now. Goodbye. Tonight on TVS, the great adventure continues at 5.30 in Return of the Jedi. They're going to execute Master Luke. The sparks will be flying too at eight o'clock in Blind Date. <laughs> it's certainly warmed up for these two would-be young lovers. Just feel the heat in Return of the Jedi and Blind Date tonight here on TVS. At 1.40 this afternoon, Jim Rosenthal, Alan Parry and Steve Ovette look back on a memorable year for British athletes. And with the new year just around the corner, they look forward to the World Championships in Tokyo, Tokyo next August. Before that, we've reached the final of Sportsmasters.